I'd like to get the world record ever. Make sure no one's going to break it, get as many as possible. Usually about one a week pops out, so I reckon I've got about 800 or so so far. So within about four years, I'd like to crack a thousand if I can. Yeah, I just picked up the results from the hospital. I get tested every three months to show I've got no nasty things. I always post a copy on the internet so people can see it for themselves. My name's Simon Watson and I'm a sperm donor. If you go to a fertility clinic, there's loads of hurdles you've got to go through. They make people sit through counselling sessions and they make them go through huge amounts of tests and then charge them absolute fortunes for the service. But realistically, if you've got a private donor, you can just go and see them, meet them somewhere, get what you want and just go. That's it. It's all sorted. I charge them 50 pounds and that, that's it for the magic potion pot and then I'll give them a syringe with the pot and then leave them to it. So what you do is basically unregulated sperm donation? Yeah, so, you know, privately meet people on the internet but, but that way they, we've got things, private sperm donors now help out more people than regulated sperm, sperm donation really. There's a Toddington Services up the road. That's quite convenient. So some people just drive down, if they're coming down the M1. There's a hotel there as well for some people to choose to stay overnight. But a lot of them just get the magic potion from me, go and pop it in a soft cup, put it in, you can do it standing up in a services bathroom, and then off they go back, back on their way home again. I must have had 200 children conceived in this place. <laughs> Most of the people I help out tend to be from Facebook. When people join the site, I see that I see their name and I send them a, a message explaining about the service I provide. You know, because it's like an artificial insemination only, and I think they they like the, the fact that I do that. I'm not going to try and get anything funny out of them. You know. Because I charge people for my service, then there's other people that would be happy to provide the service with no charge, but then they want a bit of fun out of the customers, you know. So I'm not knocking them, I mean, that's, that's up to them, and some ladies are looking for that too. Because some ladies are like lady couples, like the ones uh, today. They booked into this hotel. I won't know who they are unless they wanted to contact me later on. So I don't really poke my nose in. So people say, oh, am I being irresponsible by not keeping track on them all? Well, I, I do if they want to be keep kept track of but a lot of people tend to disappear then when the kids are older I start getting messages saying oh here's a picture of such and such of three years old we want another one it's about a third of the people it sort of works on straight away and about another third it might work second time round some people struggle but then that could be all kinds of problems they could have like blocked tubes endometriosis like thickening of the womb lining and you never know or if they've done it if their technique's not good if they haven't put it in far enough so then that's not going to help them but that's their problem I'm gone by then, I'm, see you later. I'm the last freedom to mope out nowhere city. I actually got a phone in lady. Um, she sent me a message, so I'll just give her a quick ring. Hello there, nice to talk to you. All right, uh, yeah, sorry I missed you before when I tried calling ages ago. I haven't got anything like sickle cell or there's, oh, there's all kinds of strange, loads of things. There's, I haven't got anything sort of hereditary nasty or something like that, no, so that. 
Oh, the only people I wouldn't donate to is if someone's completely bonkers. You know, if they, I know some people might be a bit sort of a bit strange, but that's not so bad. But if they completely lost it, you know, uh oh, then I run a mile, you know. <laughs> you don't sound like you're too, you know, too nuts. So I think you sound like you'll be all right. <laughs> Kit I usually take to the customers myself. There's the syringes I've been using for ages and they're they're pretty good. They're like sealed sterile ones, 10 mil syringes. No sort of sharp, nasty bits. That's the sterile sealed polypropylene container. Right, I'll see you in about half an hour or so. Room service. All right, nice to see you again. All right, 10 years later, so idle hands make easy work for the devil. So how did that go? Yeah, it was all right, I've, I've seen them before actually. Um, I couldn't remember before if I'd seen them or not. But I couldn't exactly say to them, Oh, you know, I couldn't remember if I'd seen you or not. Oh gosh, it's embarrassing, isn't it? So I've got kids all the way from Spain to Taiwan. So many countries. So it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit strange. I've got a bigger spread than Genghis Khan. I don't think I've caught him up with my numbers yet, but I think I will, because I don't plan to stop. Is there, so is, there some, is there some sort of ego involved in it that you think that you're such a wonderful person, you want to spread your genes <laughs> to um, all these different women? I didn't get, like, for example, I didn't get my first girlfriend until about 18 and a half. I thought, oh God, I'm never gonna have any, get married and have kids. So I think, you never know, psych, sort of psychologists would say, wouldn't they? Ooh, you know, that's where it will stem from. That's just a guess, I've never been to one. I wanna, I'd like to get the world record ever. Make sure no one's gonna break it, get as many as possible. Usually about one a week pops out. So I reckon I've got about 800 or so, so far. So within about four years, I'd like to crack a thousand. I think one of the biggest criticisms I've heard about unregulated sperm donation, i.e. private customers, private businesses like yourself, is that there's a possibility of men taking advantage of women, abusing women who are desperate to have children. I've never actually heard about anyone that's been attacked by a donor. It's never happened. There's only a couple of people, like, there's a few strange ladies that have said that um, things have happened and it really there there's something cuckoo in my own case i've got three of my own children and i always wanted to have at least at least three kids so the wife at that time she she although she at first said she wanted three at two she said she'd had enough so when, we, when I ended up getting a divorce, I thought, oh God, rather than going through all that again, I thought I'd much rather sort of go down to say a sperm bank, have kids there, and if they ever come and see me later, they see me. If they don't, they don't. Yeah, my oldest son, Thomas, he's been doing quite a lot on Facebook for me. So it's, it's been quite helpful, to say the least. Hey, hey Hunter, a present for you there. Right. It says they've got your details. Your details if you ever need, but like, seriously want to contact. Contact, contact. I am glad you know he's born happy and healthy. That's nice, I like that. I think it's quite a funny job really, but somebody's got to do it. And <laughs> do any <laughs> job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> yeah, but he helps people. People in need, they need kids, or they want kids. He helps them, whereas if he wasn't there to do it, then they'd have to go about and deny it. It's pretty sad really. I always have this one, free to have been exactly. home. Right? <laughs> it's made it all my siblings. Mm. When a photograph part comes up, it makes me happy really, it just, I look at it and it's just nice to think oh, I've got another brother or sister out there and I know that someone else is like, I don't know, getting a happy family because my dad and you get that, I don't know, really often, literally all the time, you just get a random little brother or sister come up and I'm like, oh wicked. Obviously there's some people out there who say things like, you know, this is unregulated, it's dangerous, if you've got that many offspring, say 800 offspring, then there's a chance that, you know, that incest in the future. I think realistically internet nowadays and everything like that. If you know your parents used a sperm donor, send your DNA off straight up. You might go out on a family tree. I mean, we're always there. They can find us easily. But I think the fact that you've got such a high sperm count probably helps towards it too. <laughs> it's like 420 million. <laughs> mm. 
in a way so many people for example get divorced so why bother going for this finding Mr Right you might as well just go and find a donor who, who suits you, what, what you're after and just have the kid and you've definitely got your kids for yourself you don't have to share them don't have to share custody if you do split up you know I'm not looking at a negative side but it's just a fact 